for three days and three nights in just three thousand rupees. But now my producer has decided to get a little more generous. So come travel with me all over the world. This time my challenge is again to survive for three days and three nights, but in just three hundred pounds. And we are starting in a city that was reborn, Belfast, in the Emerald Isle. Belfast, the capital and the largest city of Northern Ireland, has been known as Queen Victoria's pet city. Chances are that if you're arriving from abroad, you will land in Belfast, and your best advice to start your trip right here. Belfast is a Gaelic word which in English translates to mouth of the river. The best way to get around if you're on a tight budget is well to walk. People here are friendly and always willing to help. I met Hugh who decided to give me a quick lowdown about the city. This is the River Ligon. Mm -hmm. The River Ligon is the central river that runs through the middle of Belfast. On this side we have County Antrim, on that side we have County Down. The City Council decided to regenerate Belfast along the River Lagan. Mm -hmm. But as you can also see the skyline, there's a lot of building going on in this area. This is all the new regeneration of Belfast mm -hmm. after the little troubles that we had for a while. <laughs> Besides the industrial feel in the city, there's also a lot of art that I've seen. Oh, for, for example, this sculpture, I'm not quite absolutely. sure what this there's is. There's a lot of modern art, modern public sculpture all along the river. But there's just so much to see in the city and I only have a day. So there's a lot to see in Belfast, but with little time in hand and even lesser money in my pocket, I had to pick one of the many sites and activities that the city has to offer. I felt that the best way to get under the city's skin, as it were, and to understand the cultural complexities is through the public art that's on view all around. So I decided to take in the spirit of Belfast. In good spirits, with hope of a good day, I walked a short distance to find a piece of public art that's made a big splash in Belfast. represents regeneration and is specifically relevant to both River Lagoon and Belfast itself. But perhaps the biggest piece of art that Belfast gave the world was built here at the world famous Harland and Wolf shipyard. Sadly it was lost on the high seas. Ireland is a small island in the middle of the Atlantic, so the weather is unpredictable and it rains practically through the year. An umbrella from home is a very good idea. But why are we out in the rains? The reason is this. This is where the famous Titanic ship was built and it left this place in 1911. It's as long as 882 and a half feet. And if you don't get the idea of the depth looking at this, this is how high she was. The Titanic may have been made famous courtesy James Cameron and the on-screen romance between Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, but no other city in the world can lay claim to have ever seen her dot. The Titanic's keel was laid in March 1909. She was launched into the cold Atlantic on 31st of May 1911 in front of a cheering crowd of 10,000 people. The rest is tragic history. The Thompson Dry Dock where the Titanic was built from the ground up tops most tourist itineraries. There are several guided tours but they all cost money. 